This is the latest incarnation of the Wolf Gang, the signature model of Edward Van Halen. It comes from the EBH brand this time, which in turn benefits from a close association with the behemoth that is Fender MIC. And, as we'll get to, it's got to be one of the best sounding Wolfies ever. There are a host of new and tone-centric features, so let's zoom in and we'll point some of them out. This is the EVH Floyd Rose Bridge, Floyd's very first signature double locking whammy. It also includes a revolutionary D-tuner, which we'll show you how to use in a tick. Electrics include a pair of custom designed, custom wound, hard mounted humbuckers, which are controlled by two Bourne's low friction pots. The basswood body and arch maple top feature a thin skin finish and five piece binding. And the three way toggle is left over from previous Wolfies in as much as it's upside down, traditionally speaking at least. The bird's eye fingerboard features 22 vintage sized stainless steel frets that will never wear out and the distinctive headstock sports six custom designed goto tuners capped with pearl buttons. So how does it sound? Well here we'll begin with the bridge pickup and go from a clean tone to a subtle drive and finally go up to a rock crunch one after another. Remember that on the Wolfgang, up on the three way toggle selects a treble bucker. Here we go. <laughs> Now we'll do the same thing with the neck pickup, clean, drive and then a rock crunch. And that means down on the toggle.
Now let's have a closer look at the D tuner. The D tuner is an ingenious method of quickly dropping the low E down to D and back up again by pulling this extended saddle away from the bridge and then pushing it back into the slot. So here's the bridge pickup in concert tuning and then we'll drop the low string down to D and then back up again using the D tuner. <laughs> There we go, that's the D-Tuner, an integral part of the new EVH Wolfgang. The guitar is, of course, reviewed in this month's magazine, so check out that wonderfully written prose now.